y'all it's Alana and welcome back to my channel so as you can see by the title I am going to be reminiscing on my 2020 vision board and then revealing my 2021 vision board because this year has just been a mess if you're new to my channel hi welcome I post content about what it's like to navigate life and dating in San Francisco so if you're thinking about moving to the Bay Area maybe you live in the Bay Area maybe you're just single navigating the dating world wherever the case may be go ahead and subscribe down below because I think you'll really like it here so without further ado let's go ahead and get into this video this is my vision board as you can see I wanted to just kind of go over everything because, well, let's see if anything actually happened within this horrendous year. I know 2020 has been a really, really terrible year for almost everyone, including myself. I've been through so much and this is kind of going to be the video where I'm just going to kind of talk about my year and what I was able to manifest and what I just simply couldn't manifest due to everything just being so messy. Anyway, let's just go ahead and get started. So as you can see, this is a piggy bank and this basically represented me wanting to save more money this year. And unfortunately, that was something that I didn't get to happen. I actually tried putting money into a savings account, but unfortunately, due to a lot of financial hardship, I had to immediately pull that money out of the bank account. And that was really frustrating because I was trying so hard to save money this year and I just simply was not able to do it. Which kind of goes into the next thing here that I was not able to manifest at all. I know the reflection is kind of blocking it, but it says work, save, travel, repeat. So I worked a little bit this year, but I got laid off from two jobs. Y'all know that I got laid off from a job back in April and I made a whole video about that. And then I got a new job where I was being a part-time recruiting coordinator at a startup. And one thing that I didn't announce here on my channel is that last month I was laid off from that as well but it wasn't pandemic related it was a budgeting issue they simply didn't have enough money to fund my contract which was supposed to end in January and sadly it ended two months earlier so that was really frustrating for me and now I'm in a very very tough spot so again saving money something that I just simply couldn't do travel I only traveled to Squaw Valley, which is in the Lake Tahoe area, but I didn't get to travel like I wanted to. And repeat, which obviously did not happen. So let's go down to something that I actually did accomplish this year. Sleep more, train hard, eat clean, hydrate, and be happy. My sleep was very good this year. I think one thing that I actually liked about this change is that we didn't have to wake up early in the morning to commute to an office. And I really have enjoyed remote work when I had it because I got to sleep in and I didn't have to worry about waking up at five in the morning, doing a very long morning routine, eating breakfast, allotting time to commute by public transportation. That's exhausting. So I will say my quality of life did improve by not having to commute to a job. Train hard, eat clean. I was on prep for eight months this year, so I had a very good diet. I've been working out pretty much every day since the pandemic has started, and that is something that I'm very proud of. I was able to lose 20 pounds this year, and right now I'm obviously kind of gaining that back slowly. I'm currently 13 pounds above my stage weight, so I have gained some of it back, but it's been in a healthy way, not an unhealthy way. And I'm sure as you notice, my face has started to fill out a little bit more because I'm just eating more food. And then hydrate this year. I drink more water than I ever had before. Drinking water has always been very challenging for me. So I'm really glad that I was able to drink more water and then be happy. Well, I tried to be as happy as I could. I think it was very hard for me to be happy this year, especially with the amount of money that I didn't make. So then this little purple picture right here, again, the glare is kind of covering it up. I'll have it on B-roll up close for you to see, but it says, focus on being productive instead of busy. 
I was able to accomplish this. I think this was the most productive year that I've ever had. I started a podcast this year. That kept me busy. I started OnlyFans this year. That kept me very busy. I've been hustling with my YouTube channel. I have just found ways to just kind of do things and make good use out of my time. So working out was a very good use of my time. Making sure that I was seeing my friends when I could to not just stay busy, but to just make good use out of my time instead of just sitting on my butt watching YouTube videos. So this book right here represents the Tahoe Show that Center Podium, which is a bodybuilding promoter organizer, puts on every year and I competed in that show this year. So that is one thing that I felt like I really had going for me this year was being able to successfully compete in the Tahoe show and even walking away with a medal. As you can see up here is a picture of a feminine chic type bedroom. If you remember most of my videos, if you've been watching me for at least two years, you will see that I sat in front of a very messy vanity and sometimes I was on my bed to film, but my room was so basic and boring. It just had no aesthetic. It just simply wasn't me and I don't know why I never got the chance to decorate my room. It was time to make a change. I wanted a beautiful bedroom of my own and that was something that I did get to accomplish. I got to do that in my hate Ashbury apartment which I sadly had to leave and I got to do it in this beautiful room right here with a bay window that you can see in the mirror and I have some pretty fairy lights, pink and white bedding. So I was able to create my feminine chic bedroom that I had always wanted but unfortunately I have just put a 30 days notice in for this apartment which sucks because I just moved into it but I have been very unhappy with the landlords here and Due to my financial situation changing, I'm going to be moving out. And I will talk about my next place and where I'm living next month, so just stay tuned with that. This right here says more dates. That was something I got to do this year. 2019 was a dead year for my dating life. I only went out with two guys, total of four dates between the two of them. This year I dated a couple of guys, or dated a couple of guys, went on a lot more dates this year, so that was something that I was able to do. Even though we were in a global pandemic, I still got to do that. This is work hard, dream big. I worked very hard this year. I, you know, spent a ton of money trying to get my butt back here in San Francisco. I worked very hard to fund two different apartments. I worked very hard to find a new job immediately after I got laid off from another one. And now I'm just continually working hard on my YouTube channel, on my podcast, and I'm still dreaming big that good things will happen from all of the hard work that I've put into it. So that was something that I was able to do this year. Say yes to new adventures. This is something, again, I think I was able to manifest. I think starting a podcast as an adventure in itself, doing OnlyFans, I never thought that I was going to be on OnlyFans at all. I think, you know, just being in a new neighborhood in San Francisco, two different neighborhoods, was a whole new adventure in itself. Being able to go to Tahoe for the first time, that was an adventure for me because I had never been before. So I want to say that I was able to say yes to new adventures and to explore things that I never thought that I would be able to explore. So I'm proud of myself for that one. Now let's talk about the last two things that I was not able to manifest and these two ones actually really bother me the most. So let's start off with the camera. This is the Canon M50. It is a $600 camera. I tried very hard to save for this camera. So when I did have my part-time job, I was taking $100 out of every paycheck so it could add up to $600 so I, I could buy this camera. But I had a lot of other financial hardships and my debt was just really out of control and I told myself, Alana, it's not smart to buy a new camera right now. I know you want a new camera really badly, but I'm sorry, I don't know why I'm about to cry, but I really wanted this camera so badly. I hate the camera that I have now. It's really old, it doesn't have autofocus, which is sometimes I can be a little bit blurry. 
and the lighting settings aren't always great. But, I mean, yes, it gets the job done, of course, but it'd be nice to just have an, a better upgraded piece of equipment. So I'm really upset about this one, especially with all the job losses that I encountered this year and being in such financial strain. I just simply wasn't able to make this work. So I'm going to put this on my vision board for 2021 and try it again. That's the only thing that I can really do. And then finally, we have Alana Pinsky, 1,000 subscribers. Okay, look. So, yes, I did not hit this goal. As I'm filming this video, I am currently at 756 subscribers. I hope now I can hit 800 subscribers before the year ends. So again, please feel free to subscribe down below. You can help me at least try to achieve that because that's a little bit more realistic. But this was disappointing that I couldn't hit a thousand subscribers, but I will say we are so close to hitting it. I'm very confident that before April, I will have at least a thousand subscribers. This channel will be monetized and I will finally have access to the community tab. I want that feature so badly. So I cannot wait to have that feature. I'm, at, I'm more excited about that feature than I am to have ads rolling on my video because I can interact with you guys more. I can get video ideas. Y'all can give me feedback. I can just interact with you if you aren't following me on Instagram because that's kind of where I get follower suggestions and questions from when I do those kinds of videos. So to actually have it come from YouTube would be a lot more impactful and meaningful because not all my subscribers are following me on Instagram. So this is something that I know that I will easily achieve in 2021. But I can't lie, I'm a bit disappointed. But I have to remember if there's one thing, I have seen the most success and growth on my YouTube channel this year. So I want to say YouTube is hard. My first two and a half years of being on YouTube, I was seeing very slow growth. My first year I gained 200 subscribers. In 2019, I only gained 119 subscribers. This year, I've gained over 380 subscribers and I didn't start seeing growth until May. So in the beginning of 2020, I had exactly 400 subscribers and now I'm very close to 800. So while my growth is still slow, it's been the best it's ever been and I only seeing it getting better from here on out. So it means that I'm doing something right especially when I decided to just solely focus more on SF content. And especially when I started posting videos on dating about once a month, I was able to just see more success and the kind of engagement that I wanted from people. And so for that, I'm very appreciative. So let's go ahead, make my vision board. I'm going to be doing like a voiceover and explaining what everything means. Okay, so let's start off with my YouTube goal for 2021. So Walgreens didn't properly format the picture that I asked to be printed off. So I'm just cutting it up and then I'm going to glue the new number onto the old picture that I used from last year. So as you can see, I'm aiming for 2,500 subscribers by the end of 2021. I know I'm going to hit 1,000 in 2021. So I really want to set a higher expectation for myself because I really think that this is totally possible, especially with the direction I've been going in with my channel. So, yep, that is my first thing that I'm putting on my vision board. So this next picture says, debt is a thing of my past. My goal for 2021 is to pay 65% of my debt off. So once I get a job again, I totally think that this is going to be achievable. So I'm hoping for a financial reset and to get out of my debt. Holy cow, I cannot wait for that to happen. So this flower picture says she turned her pain into power and she turned her visions into a victory. This is something that I really want to achieve by being to manifest things that will be good for me this year and being able to overcome all of the hardships that I faced in 2020 and have a better future in 2021. This one says, Girl boss, an ambitious young woman driven to succeed in her career or business. So I have all hopes to be my own boss one day. 
I know I'm not there yet, but whether I get a full-time job to help me at least get a jump start in that or to just maybe find a way to financially support myself on my own without having a job, that would be great. But self-employment is something that I'm really striving for and I really hope that I can make that happen sometime in 2021. This next thing says, happiness is a journey, not a destination. So this actually symbolizes getting therapy and developing a better plan to manage my mental health. I struggle with a lot of anxiety and depression. So fun fact now that you know that about me. And I actually just started this this past Tuesday. So I am making it my mission to really dive deep into therapy. And as you can see, I had to move my YouTube goal around just so this could fit because I didn't realize how little space I had here. Oh, well, anyway, that is my goal is to be very consistent with therapy and hope that it can help me become a better version of myself. So this is kind of obvious. It says financial freedom. So obviously I would like to get out of my debt and have more money saved for myself and just more money so I can live more comfortably. I have never had financial freedom even when I had jobs and it would be very nice to know what it's like to have money in the bank and to never have to overdraft your bank account or be tempted to make terrible purchases or stupid purchases using your credit card like I did. So I want to be able to take back control of my bank account and to be able to just afford my life. So this has just breathe. I glued this on and then I removed it because I didn't like where it went and I just didn't have any room on it. But a big goal of mine in 2021, even though it won't be on my vision board, is to just breathe and to be able to finally enjoy your life and to not live in fear, anxiety, and depression. Sadly, I took this off due to lack of room, but I want you to know that this is something that I am definitely trying to manifest for myself. As you can see, this is me cutting up a new picture of the Canon M50. I already mentioned that I was going to put this back on my 2021 vision board because this is something that I am still trying to purchase in 2021. So let's hope that I can do that this year. So this picture right here represents a studio apartment. I would love to have my first apartment living on my own without roommates. I know that would definitely not help me financial wise, but obviously I want to get this studio apartment when I have the money for it. And I'm really hoping that I can make this happen sometime in 2021 where I'll have my first studio apartment or maybe even a one bedroom, depending on what my income is like. And then finally, I am just cutting up this neon picture of 2021. So people know that it's a 2021 vision board. Nothing particularly exciting here. That's just how I like to do my vision boards by adding the year on to it. Okay, and here it is all framed up. I really like this vision board. I think there are a lot of things that are definitely achievable. Hopefully 2021 will be a restart. The real restart that I needed from 2019, which I didn't really get this year. So I'm hoping that 2021 will be a better year. Fingers crossed. Comment down below and let me know if you're making a vision board or if you want to tell me how your 2020 was for you. I'd love to hear your story. Guys, if you liked this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And oh my God, this is my last video of the year. So I will see you in 2021. Bye.